Welcome to another unscripted unboxing on my channel. Today I've got the DJI OM4 smartphone stabilizer. This is the successor to the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. Let's see what's in the box. Before we get in the box, a quick search online and you'd find so many smartphone gimbals. But this OM4 is a bit on the expensive side. So if you think it's a bit out of your price range, I'd suggest you put it on your Christmas list. So on the front, you've got a picture of the gimbal. On the side, there's this DJI logo on there. On the back, you've got three more pictures. And it tells you it's got a magnetic quick mount, it's foldable and portable, it's got Active Track 3.0. I'm guessing that's where it follows your movement, so that's very good to have. It's got quick roll, it's got gesture control, and it's similar to your smartphone. So you put your hand up and it's able to capture that and follow you, so that's really good. And then it's got the story mode. So we're going to try all of those later on once we go out and about. On this side, you've got it tells you what's in the box. So you've got the DJI OM4, you've got the magnetic phone clamp, you've got a storage pouch. That's really good. You've got the power cable. It'd be interesting to see if it's a USB Type C. It's got the grip tripod. It's got a magnetic ring holder. It's got a wrist strap, and then you've got your manuals. So that's very good. Let's get in the box. Make a little nick there. And that's the box and now to get in the box I'll turn it over just gonna get rid of that so when you open it you've got it gives you a few steps you've got uh, number two you've got three and then you need to download an app that's one thing I forgot to mention early on I think to get the best out of the gimbal you need to download the DJI Mimo app and you can get that on App Store and Google Play okay. alright so you've got this nice little handy thing that's good I'll put that on the side for now and then you've got your gimbal and the tripod stand so we'll get all of these out and your charging cable and that's all that comes in the box. There's nothing else in there. So just a quick look at the tripod and it's got the DJI branding on there. You've got your little screw point on there. That's nice. Very solid. And that's the game bow has got a little sticker on there. I'll have a quick read of that. Tells you what to do. 
feels really solid. As mentioned, um, the power cable, it's good to know it's a USB type C. So that could charge your mobile phone when you're using the gimbal. That's really good. Put that to the side. And you've got your magnetic clamp. Feels really well made. I like it. Very good. So in this little cardboard package, you've got a few more bits. Let's get all of them out. Oh, I missed this little sticker. I think it's to help with the padding. So if your phone slides a lot, you can put this between your phone and the clamp, and hopefully that should make it stick a bit. It's got illustrations on there as well, so that's good. It's got this alignment guide to help you mount this to the back of your phone. I guess that's to help you hold your phone as well if you need to. So that's that's good. That's nice of them. I'll put that to the side. Let's see what's in. So you've got your instructions and it tells you what to do. It's got a complete quick start guide. Put that to the side. Let's see what the carrying pouch looks like. really well glued there right so you've got your carrying pouch it's nice to see that they give you a carrying pouch i would have preferred a much solid case but i guess this has got its advantages so i'm, I'm pleased can easily put that in there put your tripod stand in there let's put the uh, strap in there and most importantly, your clamp. You can always take your charger if you think you're going to need a cable, I mean. And there you go. I think that's really well packaged. Very good. So the next thing is, I'm going to download the DJR Nemo app. And then we're going to set up. So I'll see you back shortly. So we'll just have a quick look around the gimbal, put all the bits together. Now one thing I realised was the magnets are very strong. Just listen to that. It's so hard to pull back off. That's really good. I like it. So on the gimbal itself, you've got your little record button. I think that's for the mode and that's to turn it on and off. You've got this little joystick thing here. And then you've got your zoom, I believe. And then you've got all the various joints and access points. And then you've got a USB. I think this is for when you need to charge your phone with it while you're using it. So that's good. That's good. I like that. And you've got a little trigger button to the front of the handle there, just there. That's good. So I'll download the app and then we'll set it up. I'll see you shortly. Again, the clamp. Let's see how. So, reference this is a Note 8. See how the clamp holds. Yeah. That's easy. That's very easy. So to power it, just make sure you turn on the gimbal, you've got Bluetooth turned on on your phone, and then quickly it just finds it. So I'll go on to connect. What happened before was, because I paired it initially with my iPhone, 
I was struggling to find my Samsung, but I turned off the Bluetooth on there and it's been able to find it. So I'll go to allow, again allow. It goes through a few tutorials. So just clicking through. I've already done it on my iPhone, so I'm quite aware. And that's it, it's ready to shoot. It tells you the phone is not mounted, so I'm going to put the mount on the clip. And it's important to know you've got a little dot there, and that needs to align with a dot on the gimbal itself. It's just a little white dot there. So these two dots need to align. And once they align, that was really strong. Really, really strong. I'll put that back on. And that's it. So you press it, and there you go. That is nice. So it tells you phone miss alarm and check whether so I think it thinks I didn't put it on properly so I'm going to try and redo that and then we'll see what happens. So I think it works now. I think what happened was I did mount it properly, but then it tells you, and then once you correct it, that's it. That's very good. Let's try charging it. So you've got the USB Type-C ch charging cable, you just put it on a wall adapter in there. And you can charge it. So it seems like you can charge it while you're using it, but you wouldn't normally do that, so... But yeah. And it feels light, it's not too heavy. It's able to follow my hand movement, which I like. You can use that one hand. It's very good. I like that, I like that. The buttons feel really nice. The joystick is really nice. Right. So, just to summarize this short unboxing, the DJI OM4 is very well made. I like the way the magnet clamps on easily. It holds the phone very well. I've tried two phones and it's able to clamp onto them easily. It's got a bit more give as well, so that's good. I like the carrying pouch, which makes it a lot safe. You've got the wrist strap if you're walking about and you just need it handy. The app works seamlessly. What you need to do, you could use it without the app, but I've read online and I've seen reviews that talk about it working a lot better if you download the app. It goes to say it's their product, it's their app, it's going to work a lot better than just using it without the app. Is it worth it? I mean, it's a bit dear. And as I showed you before, you can get cheaper ones, you can get more expensive ones. But if you've got the money to spare, I'd say it's worth 
buying just to see if it improves your filming or your videos or your pictures otherwise get a cheaper one or get the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 if you really wanted this I'd say stick it on your Christmas list I'll leave it to charge fully and then take it out and do some videos if you like this content please consider subscribing hit a like and let me know what you think is it worth 139 pounds or are you better off going for the Osmo Mobile 3 or even a cheaper one let me know your thoughts i'll see you next time